Hello everyone, I'm Riti Kauri and in this video we will see how to create preconditions in X-Ray. So let's get started. How to provide preconditions to our test cases. To create the preconditions, again we have to click on this create button and select the option precondition. But before that, what are preconditions actually? Preconditions are the conditions that should be fulfilled before a test execution. Creation is similar to other JIRA issues and we have to provide the same type of data to create the precondition. Let's provide the summary, the right description. Okay, provide other information like fixed versions, priority, write labels, write epics, sprint, etc. Let's create it. The precondition has been created now. Let's view it. Okay. So if we see that again, this precondition has three different types, manual, generic and cucumber, same as those which were associated with the test cases. The mapping that can be done to the test cases is manual preconditions should be added only to the manual test cases. Generic preconditions should be added to generic test cases and similarly cucumber preconditions should be added to cucumber test cases. Let's create a precondition which will support the cucumber test cases. For that, I will select cucumber. I'm changing its type to cucumber. Now I have an option tests associated with this. I have a background field where I have to specify the precondition scenarios. They will again be in the form of given when then etc. Given that user is in dev001 database then all the values on the table so and so should be set to zero so this is the precondition that needs to be followed let's save it now here we have an option tests so i will now associate it with one of the cucumber test cases so for that click on the tests add to tests existing tests we can also create new test cases but we also have an option to select the already created test cases. Here, I have a list of different test cases which I can use, but I also have a search functionality where I can search for specific tests and I can also provide a jQuery search. That is, I can write a jQuery query over here and perform a search. Let's see an example. So I'm typing a jQuery over here. Issue type equals to test. That is, I'm selecting only the test cases. Select the required test case. Click on add selected. And we are able to associate this precondition with our test case. So once again, I can only associate a cucumber precondition with a cucumber test case and a manual precondition with a manual test case and a generic precondition with a generic test case. Let's say if I try to add some other type of test case to the cucumber precondition, I won't be able to do so. Let's see it as a demonstration. Since the test case was not matching with the precondition, I got a warning message and the test case was not associated with this precondition. Okay, so we now know how to create preconditions. Now, as we can edit different other issue types, I can edit the preconditions as well. And if we see the precondition issue type has this details tab associated with it. On clicking on this precondition details tab, it takes me below on the page which specifies what are the precondition details and which also has a tab tests which tells me what all different 
tests are associated with this precondition. It also has an extra history associated with it. I can also clone this precondition similar to how we can clone different other JIRA issue types. For that, I have to click on these three dots, that is the actions on the right and select the clone. If we click on this clone button, we will be able to create a new precondition, which is a clone from this particular precondition, which will have all the data from this precondition, except the executions that have happened for this precondition. We will see what are test executions as we move forward. For now, we have covered everything which was required to understand preconditions.